A driver is dead after a Philadelphia police officer opened fire during a violent traffic stop. It happened last night in Crescentville and tonight the officers were covering at home from injuries that he sustained and we're learning more about the deceased. Action News reporter uh, Charles Watson live now police headquarters with the details there. Charles. Yeah, hey, Maggie, uh, police tell Action News the man who allegedly rammed an officer after a traffic stop is 36-year-old Curtis Wallace Jr. Uh, according to police, that confrontation forced the officer to open fire. And tonight, we're getting a look at cell phone video showing first responders trying to save Wallace's life not long after that officer-involved shooting. Cell phone video shows the moment EMTs find Wallace near his vehicle and begin life-saving efforts. Wallace and his vehicle ended up in this alleyway along the 200 block of Benner Street in the city's Crescentville neighborhood after police say he fled from a traffic stop and later rammed an officer with his car near Adams and Newton Avenues. Thursday night, Police Commissioner Kevin Bethel detailed what witnesses say they saw. At that point, they observed the officer fire multiple shots into the car. At that same time, they also see a passenger exit that vehicle. Those same civilians and independent witnesses were able to grab that person and detain them. Wallace was rushed to Einstein Medical Center, where he was later pronounced dead. Neighbors who live near the alleyway where Wallace was found tell Action News off camera that he appeared to be deceased before first responders even got to him. The officer who opened fire on Wallace was also taken to Einstein, where he received treatment for injuries to his legs. Today, investigators with the crime scene unit were back out at the scene on Adams Avenue, looking for any evidence they may have missed as police attempt to piece together what happened. We have video evidence. The officer was wearing a body camera. We have now taken that down to our internal barriers to see what, if anything, it captured on there. We have video from the street because we have a crime a camera on that location. We'll be grabbing that video. Yeah, and so police have not released the identity of the officer involved in that shooting. We are told that he was released from the hospital earlier this morning and is doing well. This remains an active investigation. For now, we're live in front of police headquarters, Charles Watson, Channel 6, Action News, Maggie.